In today's video, we are going to be learning how to estimate the quantity of cement in concrete. So in most cases or in most scenarios, especially when you are working on a site, you would likely be asked the quantity of bag of cement that would be useful or that would be utilized in carrying out a specific concrete work. And in some cases, the only thing you will see when you look into your bill of quantities is just the quantity of concrete in cubic meters so the quantity of concrete in cubic meter does not specifically state how many bags of cement or the quantity of sand and the quantity of aggregates that will be used in um, carrying out that concrete work itself so in most cases you would likely have to recalculate yourself by making use of the quantity in the bill of quantities to determine the bags of cement and also the quantity of sand and aggregates that will be used in your casting that is in your concrete casting so in this video i'm going to be teaching you what you can do or how you can calculate it so before i move ahead there's something we need to look at which is very very important this is um m15 and this is c20 we have m10 here so these are simply concrete grid i've actually made a short video on concrete grid i've tried to explain as much as possible what this concrete grid is so in order to calculate the quantity of cement in a particular um, concrete you need to first and foremost understand what grade of concrete is being used in that construction so in most cases in the description in your bill of quantities or in the specification that is going to be given to you as a contractor or as a site engineer they will state the grade of concrete that is going to be used so we have two different types of grade of concrete that is usually used the m grade and then the c grade so these are the two classes of concrete grade and these classes of concrete grade is dependent on the type of testing that is used to test the strength of the concrete so whichever the case may be you may end up seeing one of the grade overlapping with another one when it comes to concrete mix like in this case m15 and c20 are going to be having the same concrete mix the, the same concrete mix the only difference is just that m15 is based on a test that is carried out using cubes why c20 or the c class itself the m class are test of concrete strength using cube why the C-classes are a test of concrete strength using a cylinder. So that is just the difference. I'm going to explain furthermore in a separate video from this. But for now, let us just focus more. So like I said, when you look into your bill of quantity and you have been given a particular grade of concrete in the bill of quantity, you can just pick up your phone, you know, just pick up your phone, go into Google and then look up the concrete mix for that concrete grade. That is the first step you need to take in carrying out your calculation. So let's assume that when i look up my bill of quantities what i have as my concrete quantity let's say the quantity of our concrete is let's assume that we have um 12 meters cube so this is the concrete quantity that is stated in the bill of quantities 12 meters cube so we have 12 meters cube of concrete and what we want to know is the quantity of cement that can be used to carry out the concrete casting for 12 meters cube of concrete and in this case i want to say that my concrete grade the concrete grade in this case is m15 and like i said m15 is going to have is having in fact m15 and c20 have the same mix ratio and this is their mix ratio their mix ratio is one ratio two ratio four now i know the quantity stated in my bill of quantities and i know my concrete grade as one ratio two ratio four because i already have it in my specification that the mix ratio is sorry that, that the, the concrete grade is either m15 or c20 in the united states you don't they don't make use they don't make use of m15 or c20 often but in the united states they have their own way of placing the concrete grade all you just need to do is to pick that grade google it and you would see the mix ratio for that particular grade that is used in that area if you go to the uk you go to places like india and even nigeria they make use of either this m15 or you can come across the um the c grades as well so either m grade c grade just google it and you see the mix ratio so we already have our concrete quantity in the bill of quantities as 12 meters cube and the concrete grade is known with its mix ratio as one ratio two ratio four so what we want to know now is the quantity of cement that is in this 12 meters cube of concrete as you already know concrete is simply a mixture of cement plus sand plus 
are coarse aggregates that's the granite or the stones so this 12 meters cube comprises of cement sand and aggregate in a proportion of one ratio two ratio four that means if i pick a cup of cup of cement one cup of cement i'm going to mix it up with two cup of sand and four cup of aggregates in the same way if i'm going to make use of a wheelbarrow when i fill up a wheelbarrow with cement one wheelbarrow of cement i'm going to use that same wheelbarrow and fill up um, the wheelbarrow twice with sand and then I'm still going to use the same wheelbarrow to fill it up four times with aggregate and that is going to give me this proportion so don't get the misconception of saying you have to mix one bag of cement with let's say two headpan or two wheelbarrow of sand and four headpan or four wheelbarrow of aggregate that is not going to be in proportion at all so that is a misconception whatever you use to measure cement is the same thing you would use to measure the sand and the same thing you use to measure the aggregate in the proportion of one two and for that means one head pan of cement with two head pan of sand and four head pan of aggregate so that is what you should bear in mind to get the quantity of cement i need to first of all deal with my proportion so i'm going to say total ratio so this is how you start this is the ratio one ratio two ratio four so it's going to be one plus two plus four and the total ratio is equal to seven now from this ratio we already know that the first ratio here is cement the second represents sand and the last one represents aggregate. And what we are looking at is the quantity of cement. So I'm going to be dealing with one. So if I want to get my quantity of cement now, it is going to be equal to the quantity of um, the ratio of cement in this case is one. So it's going to be one out of seven because the total ratio is seven. So one out of seven multiplied by what is the quantity of the concrete entirely the quantity of concrete is 12 12 cubic meters if i do 1 over 7 multiplied by 12 that is going to give me the quantity of cement but that will be quantity of dry cement now there is something i'm going to do here i want to bring this explanation to your notice that when you have dry cement or let's say dry concrete it is usually um it, it, when, when you add water sorry when you add water to dry concrete what will happen is that the quantity or the volume of the concrete is going to decrease i know this sound absurd but let me explain when you look at sand sand have some pore spaces that are covered with air so they, they are little little spaces that you can't see with your eyes and those places those spaces are occupied by air the same thing goes for your gravel when you put gravel together, they also have little, little, they have some pore spaces that are covered with air. That space is being carried by the volume of air itself. Meaning, when I decide to add water to that sand, what will happen is that the sand is going to compact itself and settle. And some particles of sand that are very tiny, that are supposed to just stay on their own, would likely begin to occupy those spaces that the air have actually created. And by doing that, the volume of the sand is going to reduce the same thing with gravel cement is very fine it has fine particles and because it has fine particles the, the the rate of reduction in its volume is considerable very low so what this means in a nutshell is that the volume of dry concrete would always decrease by almost 54 percent when you add water to it so i have a cuboid and in this cuboid I am able to fill this cuboid with let's say one meters cube of dry concrete if i'm able to fill this with one meters cube of dry concrete and i add water to that dry concrete that concrete will not be able to fill this cuboid anymore that's because the moment you be decide to add water to the concrete the little little sand particles that were unable to find their way into those air spaces will begin will become somehow um they would have the ability to find their way and fill up some spaces that the air was occupying before the same thing with the gravel so what will happen is the quantity of your dry concrete will decrease as long as water is added to it and that decreases almost 54 percent of its initial volume so it simply means that one cubic meter of my dry concrete is going to be equivalent to about 1.54 cubic meter of wet concrete after water has been added to it that's simply because like i said this quantity of dry concrete is going to shrink by 54 percent so if you want to have the exact volume when water has been added to it of wet concrete remember your concrete is always casted as wet concrete so if you want to have an exact volume it means you are going to create an adjustment of 54 percent which makes it 1.454 
I don't know if you get this concept, but just know that this is what is always done anytime you are doing your estimation calculation. And that is why when I'm calculating the quantity of cement, I know that this is the portion of cement over the total portion of the constituent in the concrete multiplied by the volume or the cubic meter of the concrete, which is 12 meters cubed. Then multiply by the adjustment of 1.54. So just know that this is constant. You do this when you are multiplying for cement, when you are doing the same calculation for sand, and when you are doing the same calculation for aggregate, you would always create this adjustment of 1.54. It is a constant. So just bear that in mind. All right, now when we do this, I'll just press it on my calculator. I have one divided by seven multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1.54. So what I have here is 2.64 meters cube. So this is the quantity of cement in meters cube, but this have not yet solved our problem because we already know that cement is usually measured in bags. You cannot just meet a layman or somebody on on the let me say on the site or even your client you cannot just meet your client and tell your client that i need 2.64 cubic meters bag of cement he wouldn't even understand what that simply means so instead of just telling him i need 2.64 meters cube of cement of pure cement because this is the quantity of pure cement that means from this 12 meters cube of concrete we have 2.64 meters cube occupying um, just cement alone so now that we have this information we need to convert this thing to bags of cement so we need to know how many bags of cement will be able to cover for this. There is a constant for it, but I don't want us to go the shortcut way. I want us to understand how this is calculated. Then in my second example, I can just follow the shortcut and show you what you need to do. Now that we have 2.64 bags of cement, the next thing to do is to ask ourselves, what is the actual density of cement? So let me start with density of cement. So the density of cement is given as 1,440 kg per meter cube, meaning for every one meter cube of pure cement, you are going to have 1,450 kg of cement. As you already know, one bag of cement in, in my country here in Nigeria, I don't know about your country, but one bag of cement that we make use of in this country, Dangote or Boa or whatever you call it, is equal to 50 kg. So if one bag of cement is equal to 50 kg, how many bags of cement do you think we are going to have in 1,450 kg? Because we already know that the density of cement is 1,440 kg per meter cube. So how many bags of cement are we going to get from 1,440 kg if one bag of cement is 50 kg? So let us, instead of using this question mark, let me use X. When we follow our normal basic mathematics and cross multiply, it is going to become X multiply by 50 kg equal to one bag of cement or i can just call it bag of cement multiply by 1440 so i can just write one here sorry instead of just writing bag of cement so what i'll be having here i just need to look for x so basic mass demands that i divide by 50 kg i divide this place by 50 kg so that this can eliminate this then the bags of cement is now going to become 1440 over 50. When you do the mass, you are going to have 28.8 bags of cement. That means in one cubic meter, in one cubic meter, because remember what we made use here is just we made use of um, what do you call it? of the density 1440 kg per cubic meter so since we made use of this density of 1440 kg in our calculation remember that i said the density is 1440 kg per meters cube that means for every one meters cube we have 1440 kg and 1440 kg comprises of 28 bags of cement so what we have now is one meters cube because it's per meters cube is going to one meters cube of cement is going to contain 28.8 bags of cement and in our calculation here from the calculation we did here we already know that the total meters cube of cement that is in in our bill of quantities from the calculation we've done is 2.64 meters cube so if one meters cube of cement is going to give us 28.8 bags of cement then how many meters cube or oh sorry how many bags of cement are we going to get out of this 2.64 meters cube because our first calculation was to establish the quantity of meters cube of cement 
in the entire concrete mix so how many bags of cement are going to be contained in this 2.64 meters cube and since we don't know the, the, the answer i'm going to call this place y so that i can just cross multiply again so when i cross multiply y is going to multiply one which is y equal to 2.64 multiplied by 28.8 so whatsoever we have as our answer is going to be the total number of, of cement or the total bags of cement that will be useful to carry out our calculation or our construction sorry of that particular concrete so let me just do this sharply and let's see what we have so we have um sorry we have 2.64 multiply by 28.8 that is going to give us 70 76 bags of cement so automatically from the bill of quantity we have 12 meters cube and the concrete mix is m15 or c20 which is one ratio two ratio four so the quantity of cement or the number of cement bags that are used for 50 kg bags of cement that can be used to carry out this concrete cast is now equivalent to 76 bags of cement